So apparently 2.2 is almost finished. It's just around the corner, but it's delayed yet again. Everyone's shitting themselves over this tweet, but I'm not. I've honestly never really been the biggest fan of upcoming update 2.2 for various reasons. That's why I made this video, because I'm genuinely, like, really annoyed by the fact that it's coming out. Like, people are gonna hate me for this, but, you know, you're not gonna change my opinion, so, you know, whining is useless. Anyway... Uh, I'm making this video so that I could, you know, voice my concerns with the upcoming update and what it's going to do to this game and the community. Because as someone who's been in this community since 2014, I've basically watched the whole thing grow and then die and then grow again. And I have a feeling it's going to die again. So, yeah, here are my thoughts on 2.2. So the first problem I have with 2.2 is that the update's just too big, you know? Like, the update is just kind of completely change the game. I've been playing this game since I was like 10. I'm 20 now, and I've watched this game just stop development halfway through, and I personally thought, aside from, you know, some of the bugs that everybody, you know, gets annoyed by, the game's pretty much, like, you know, perfect in my personal view. Like, I don't see any reason other than bug fixing where Geometry Dash necessarily needs to be improved. Like, there's a couple things that are just sort of community-wise that I'd like to see changed, like how moderators get promoted and levels getting rated and things like that, but that's not part of the base game. I'm talking about, like, in the base game, just the core of what Geometry Dash is, the game itself honestly doesn't need much improvement, just a couple optimization things. That's why I'm annoyed, because I've been playing, we've all been playing 2.1 for, for like s seven years, is it now? Seven straight years of the same game, just waiting for an update. Like, come on, dude. The second problem I have with 2.2 being super big is that there's going to be too, too, too many new features. We've seen a pattern over the last two updates, 2.0 and 2.1, where there was a massive dip in players in the community right after those huge updates. The reason for that is that we were both way too big. The first 10 updates of the game, people kept coming in because they were small, just steadily making the game better and more well-rounded. But when 2.0 came out, it just completely shook everybody. It just shook their fillings loose and just made everybody lose their minds. And user levels were Complete and utter bullshit. I'm not even gonna, you know, sugarcoat that. They were bullshit because there were too many new features that nobody knew how to use. We all had to get used to them. It took years. Late 2.0 was okay. And then early 2.1 comes and levels are shit again. No one has fun. Creators quit because it's too hard to make something good. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants these many new features. It's gonna kill creator and player motivation to the point where I don't even know how many people are gonna be playing the game anymore. Like, I'm sure 2.2 is gonna, like, you know, have an influx of new players, but mainly, like, younger players who are, like, you know, just getting into the game. But I'm talking about people like me, who've been playing since they were kids, and we're just seeing the game we all knew and loved from our childhood just getting destroyed. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I felt this same way about when Minecraft uh, got updated to Java versus Bedrock. Like, I was used to playing on a phone and having it be like just a taste of what the other Minecrafts are, because I thought that was good. I played, then I upgraded to PlayStation 3 back when that was relevant, and Minecraft updates for PlayStation 3, also known as Legacy Edition, they stopped at Update Aquatic. Personally, I think Update Aquatic is the best update of Minecraft. Everything after that was just Microsoft taking a shit on something that I loved. Like, the fact that they just changed things that were already in the base game was what pissed me off the most, because Aquatic was when they stopped adding things, and they just started changing things. That's the same issue I have with 2.2. Rob Top's not adding things anymore. He's just changing everything. My next point is 2.2 should have been capped at Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero was what I was excited for, 2.2. Camera controls, the part in the, you know, press start, where there's like the little square area and you're going back and forth. I like that. That's a cool idea. What I don't like is those levels that are just a completely different game. Like, that's not even Geometry Dash anymore. That's just a new game. 
Like, that's not what we've been playing for 10 years. That is not the game, and I hate it. I hate platformer mode with every fiber of my being because that's not what Geometry Dash is. That is just not the game that I've loved throughout my childhood and into my adulthood. Sub-Zero had all the features that I wanted to see added to this game, and then we could have moved on from there. I think if Rob Top doesn't want people like me to be pissed off at the new update, he should split it, starting with the stuff from Sub-Zero, and he should split it into smaller updates so that we, instead of working for another 10 years on a new update, he can just split the huge update he already has so that he can just steadily release it while working on a new big update. That way, we'll have a steady influx of new updates and new content. Everybody's happy. No one's getting pissed off about things being ruined or anything like that. We'd have a perfect update season going forward if he just splits up the damn thing. Because otherwise, we're all just going to be completely overwhelmed by a whole boatload of new shit that no one asked for. That, you know, just it's just going to completely change and ruin the game for me, honestly. I'm going to still play the game because I'm a stubborn little whiny bitch, but still, it's going to be mostly ruined for me. Like, I'm not going to be able to enjoy platformer levels or things like that. <sighs> Feels like I'm just reiterating everything at this point, so... These are just my thoughts on this entire situation. If you guys have enjoyed me ranting about bullshit, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or else I will ungrill your cheese and be under your bed tonight.